Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. In this video, we're going to show you how you can build your entire wholesale infrastructure without an app. By the end of this video, your customers that are actually wholesalers will be able to log in, see some products that your regular customers can't even access, and even see a completely different navigation bar that your regular customers don't see. Don't worry, we will do it so you can choose who of your logged in clients are wholesalers and who are just regular login clients so you can pre-approve your login account holders as wholesalers. It's all gonna make sense, just follow with me. So first and foremost, this is the online store. We wanna make sure that accounts are enabled so that people can actually create accounts. For that, you have to go to settings, click on checkout, and then put accounts are optional. Or you can also do accounts are required depending on your business model. And you save. Awesome. Now let's go see what our store looks like. This is what the current store looks like. And we're going to take the zipped jacket as an example. You know, I can just buy it even though I'm not logged in. Um, I can just do my thing here. So we're going to change that. We're going to make this zip jacket only available for wholesalers. By the way, in case you need anything, there is the full code in the link down below. Just click. It's the first link to our website. And then you have the full code that you can just copy paste. All right, great. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to online store. This is our live theme. That's where we want to build it on. So we're going to click actions and we're going to duplicate. This is a little bit more of a difficult video on how to code stuff. So make sure you have a duplicate because if you don't and you mess stuff up, then you're screwed. With a duplicate version, if you mess stuff up, that's you just delete the duplicate version. All right, now that we have the duplicate version, we're going to click on actions and we're gonna edit code. Welcome to the code editor. The first step would be to go right here in layout. There's team.liquid. You would click on this one. And then the easiest way is to do command F on a Mac, control F on Windows, and then look for a thing that's called content for layout. There should only be one and it's beautifully highlighted right here. Don't pay too much attention at the line number because it might be different for you. Now this content for layout and just that part, we're going to be removing, we're going to put a couple of spacing and we're going to paste a different block of code. There we go. Now don't worry, by the end of this video, I'll explain to you how you can get a hold of this code. Just bear with me one second. Once that done, you click on save. The next step is going to be to the snippets here to the left, and we're going to be adding a new snippet. We're going to call that snippet wholesale note. Again, I'm just going to paste it. Just make sure it's written exactly like this. Make sure there's no spaces in the front. Make sure there's no caps anywhere. Make sure it's exactly like this. And once that snippet is done, you can create the snippet. You will get the message that the snippet is created successfully. And here we are in the snippet right here. Also in here, we're going to be pasting some basic code I'm going to provide you right here. And then we just save it. That's it. Now, just as an FYI, this is the code or this is the text that people are going to see if they stumble upon a product that they're only allowed to access as a wholesaler. So your regular customers are still going to be able to access the product zipper or whatever you want to sell wholesale, but they're not going to see the price. They're not going to see the picture. They're just going to see this instead. So this is where you would change the messages um, in order to have a, a different message. So again, the product is still going to exist. Regular non-wholesaler visitors can still access the product page, but they're going to see nothing from information. They're just going to see this. So no pictures, no pricing, no add to cart. Nope, just this. And again, feel free to change the black text here between. So this page is approved by wholesaler customer only. Log into your account. Contact us to request a wholesale account. Feel free to change that in whatever text you would like it to be. Okay, the next step is going to be adding some templates. So for that, we're going to go to the templates section right here, and we're going to click add a new template. A pop-up pops up asking what type of template, and we want to add a page template. We're not going to call it alternate. We're going to call it wholesale. Again, be very wary of the spelling of this. No spacing in the front, no spacing in the back, no caps, just regular wholesale. And we create it. We're going to do this two more times now with a product template. So uh, it's going to be product 
Again, we're going to call it wholesale. And then we're going to do it one final time with a collection template. And that's going to be collection right here. And we're going to call it wholesale. There we go. Why did we do this? Now we have three different templates. We have pages templates, product templates and collection templates. And these are templates that, you know, we can choose a specific product, assign it the wholesale template, and then only wholesalers can see that product. The same with collections and the same with pages. We can make it so only wholesalers can see a specific page or a specific collection or a specific product. That's why we created these templates. Now for the next step, we're going to get out of the customizer. So once everything is nicely saved, yes it is, we're going to get out of the customizer and put the theme we have been working on alive. So copy of the debut team last saved was just now. We're going to click actions and publish. Are you sure you wanna publish? Yes, I'm sure, publish. Now make sure that there's not too many bugs in it because now everyone can see what you've just built. So if you did a spelling mistake somewhere, it might get a bit weird. So don't do this at high traffic hours or try to be very aware that there might be a bug on your live version right now. But okay, let's perfect. Once you have put it live, we can now go change the templates of the products. Like I said, we were do going to do this exercise on the zipper one. On the zipped jacket right here. As we saw in the very beginning, it was available to everyone. We just want it to be available for wholesalers. So we're going to go right here on the right, product templates, and now product wholesale appeared because we have put our team live. If you haven't put your team live yet, this will not appear. So because we put our team live, our new template is available, product wholesale. I select it and I click save. Now, if I look at my live site, like I used to do, and I go down, zip the jacket, but I'm not logged in. So this is what we see. Hey, this page is only approved, is only for approved wholesale customers. You know, you get log in or contact us. Oh, well, what if I log in? So for that, I'm gonna have to create an account because I haven't created an account yet. Um, at ecomexperts.io password pass one two three I don't know why I said that out loud to continue let us know you're not a robot okay pretty sure I can still do these ones perfect now um, I have an account but now again, if I go to zip jacket, even though I'm logged in, mm, that's because I'm not approved as a wholesaler. If I go to clients right here, this is on the store owner side, customers, I can see Andrew Duro is a new customer. And now if I add the tag wholesale to Andrew and I save it, then Andrew is going to be able to see the zip jacket page and now he can buy it. So this is obviously to avoid that all your clients start accounts and automatically get access to better prices. Um, so you definitely have to manually approve all the new accounts that have been created and you have to manually decide which ones you want to give wholesale access to and which ones you don't. You do that by adding the tag to the account right here. The tag is called wholesale again, no caps, no funny spacing, just wholesale. Another thing that I would like to point out is you see once we have created the account, we were redirected to the home page. Also, when you create the account or log out, you get redirected to different pages. The my account page might not necessarily be how you want it. We made a video last week about this to say how to customize all that. So you definitely want to check that out and build the ultimate wholesale experience together with this video. Pretty cool, right? All for free. Now there's one other thing I would like to change. You see, I don't like the fact that I see the exact same nav menu now that I'm a wholesaler and I'm logged in as a regular visitor because maybe I want to see elements in the nav menu that apply just to me. Again, we can now create specific pages and specific collections, put them under the template wholesale, and then it's only visible two wholesalers. Oh, lost my... Anyway, it doesn't matter what's written here, but the phase shift wholesale, there you go, 
So this page will only be visible to wholesalers. And the same with collections. I can do the exact same thing with collections. So obviously I would want my menu to be representatives of what the wholesalers can buy so they can easily buy stuff. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So if you want to stop here, you're happy by just keeping the same menu. Fantastic. If you want to bring it one step further, we're going to go back in the copy of our uh, theme. I don't, I really don't like to work on live versions. So I'm going to publish the, uh, the old version first. That way we're working on, on the backup we've worked on before, but at least it's not live. That's a better way to do stuff. We're going to click on actions and we're going to click edit code. Again, this is definitely the more tricky part of the video. You can launch everything without it. Um, but I feel like if it works, it's really fantastic. Why is it more tricky? A little bit more coding and every theme is different. So it's a bit harder to do this. Anyway, in sections right here, we're going to look for header section. Up, up, up. Header dot liquid, this one right here. Then I'm going to do command F on Mac control F our windows. And then I'm going to paste something. Here you go. Link for links list main menu. I'm going to type enter and I do not find it. If I don't find it, maybe it's because it's this instead. Ah, uh, here we go. The link list for mobile. So once I found that, and again, I'll explain exactly where you can find all these pieces of information at the end of the video. Um, and again, you can find all this link down below. But once you have found this, it's important for you to replace it. So remove what is written right here that we found. We type in enter a couple of times to create some spacing. And then we paste that little block here that's going to basically replace the menu if the person is logged in as a customer and if they're a labeled as a wholesaler. Okay, so we have just added this. This was for the mobile navigation. Now, obviously, it also has to work for desktop. So for the desktop, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to look for centered. Um, here it is centered when the logo is centered. Here is the nav. So when the logo is centered, it's going to give you a nav element right here. We want that, that line in between that na navigation tag. So not the navigation tags itself, the one in between, we're going to remove that. I uh, hit enter a couple of times, and then we're going to paste the desktop piece of code uh, that's provided like this. And we're going to save that. And then and then often the logo, you have the opportunity to put it on the left as well. So let's find it here when the logo is on the left. But this isn't talking about the nav. So no, when the logo is on the left, uh, the div class, no, that's not the one either. That's not the one miter. Here we go. When the logo is on the left, we again have these nav uh, blocks here. So we're going to remove this in the middle. We leave the nav blocks, but we're going to remove it in the middle. We do a couple of spacings and then we're going to paste that same piece of code for desktop. Again, I like to select it all and indent it because it, oh, because it looks better. Um, and clean it up a bit, but white spacing doesn't matter that much. All right, great. We save it. All right, and then the last step is, of course, creating a menu for your wholesaler. So you do that in the classic way right here in a navigation. Once it's all saved, uh, we're going to create a separate menu that just the wholesalers can see. Um, so we're going to add a menu right here. We need to name it exactly like this main menu wholesale. And then we add menu items. Um, you know, this is, I'm just going to add random things here, but this is exactly how you would create a, a normal menu. Um, of course, there's not much I can link to. There we go. Just create a quick menu. If I go on my live version, that's not the version I worked on. Of course, you don't, you don't see anything. I can still access everything. Uh, however, let's now put it on the version we have worked on together. So online store, um, 
the last saved one minute ago. So we click on actions, we click on publish. Yes, we're sure we want to publish this a beauty. Perfect. Then we go see on the live store here. And here we go, gift wrappings, stories, login. This is a different menu because I'm still logged in, as you can see my account. Um, I can also go back and look at the zipped jacket. I can add it to the cart. However, if I log out right now, and again, the redirects of all of this is explained in the previous video I did last week. But if I log out, now I'm not logged in anymore. I want to see the zip jacket. I'm not allowed to. And you'll also notice that the menu is completely different because I'm not an approved wholesaler. So um, this is really useful. You would have to create different products with different prices, though, that you then only uh, show to your wholesalers, all those products, you put them in a separate category that you are only showing to your wholesalers. It's a little bit of a workaround versus just using an app. We reviewed some wholesale apps, but on the other hand, it's free. The app are paid. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, you gotta, you gotta. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This was a little bit more complicated than we usually do. I could, yeah, I even was missing my words there. I hope you enjoyed it. Binge watch these type of videos and the strategy videos. If you do, that shows YouTube we're doing a good job and then YouTube shows it to more people and that would really be amazing for us. So thanks a lot and I'll see you in another video. Ciao.